now. Jim and Simon, they're coming up at 10 a.m., lazy. And uh, finally, we've managed to get Simon Jordan actually in the studio with us. He never steps foot in here when no, we're he in doesn't, here. No, he doesn't, um, But he is here to tell us what's coming <laughs> Danny's up here as well. on his show. So first of all, hi, Simon. I just, I've got to ask, well, um, I want your thoughts on Mbappe leaving PSG. Oh, well, first of all, I've got to say, how comes, right, how comes the powers that be have got me up at the crack of half nine, parachuted me to help improve your show's pitiful performance? It's an absolute mess, nonsense. Right, Mbappe, right, well, apparently he's going to leave PSG, right? A real brown would do They're sniffing around him. Same story, different. I'm sick of the back teeth of these pretty boy players dictating terms. He's getting paid enough. <laughs> okay. Simon, <laughs> you're in good form this morning. Always am, always am. What, what's going on at Everton? Oh, what's not going on at Evan? I'm, 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 I'm in shock. Well, not in shock, really, if you think about it. That, that, that Titanic mess has been heading for the iceberg for, for a long time now. But apparently, two directors... What, two, two directors? Oh, who knows, might be more. Three, like, three dominoes. And they're, all, they're all falling. And um, Ancelotti wants, wants, wants to sue the club. Honestly, it's an absolute mess. And dollars for donuts. If I was in charge, right, it never would have happened. <laughs> Simon, so, so, mean, can, can I ask you, mate, if I, if I may? You've, you been, you've been kind of critical... Uh, previously of Jack Grealish yes what, what have you made of his antics recently just where's my crystal ball Ali where's my crystal ball he's had it again isn't he absolute more one why he's won a Mickey Mouse cut that he's bought basically and now he's half cut yet again he's as steam as a Titanic ridiculous <laughs> honestly oh, hair, hair, like Alice Van wearing nitwits <laughs> I've also heard that you've got a very special guest coming up on the show later on. It's Chris Eubank Sr., right? That's right. Yeah, mm. Yes. In fact, they might be here now. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, hello, that's correct. Um, yeah, I was intrigued. I thought, I couldn't believe, apparently, that there's a human being that has a bigger ego than I do. <laughs> so I thought I'd just come in and see if it's true. Impossible. I can uh, tell you now, absolutely not. impossible. Um, of course, that's not actually Simon Jordan. Um, it's the brilliant impressionist, Adam Diggle. And you might have actually seen, um, it kind of went viral recently, didn't it, Adam? Your impression of Simon Jordan and, I and saw it. Jim White. <laughs> yes, I, I did. I saw it. it. It's so good. It's so good. Nice. You got him spot on. And actually, you, you walked in wearing the glasses and the wig, and I caught you just out of the corner of my eye take, and I yeah. thought it was Simon Jordan yeah, you are aware Adam of course yeah. there'll be nobody happier than Simon himself that somebody has <laughs> taken the trouble to go and impersonate him <laughs> oh, you're, you're he'd be well happy with that wouldn't he what, someone, someone sat in a room listening to me for hours on end it's my dream <laughs> I, can you do the Jim White one? Because I quite like that. I, I can do a little spit. I can do a little like short yeah. spurt. It's so high energy. Look, Simon's not happy. What's wrong? <laughs> Damn right, Jim. I'm not happy at all. That's absolutely perfect. Oh my god. How long did it take? So where did you first decide that you wanted to do Simon Jordan? And then how long did it take to perfect it? Um, well, I, that, I knew the exact moment because my friend Tom, who's very kindly accompanying me Hi, today, Tom. Tom's in the studio. <laughs> we were, uh, were actually watching a cricket match because I, I mainly know. Jordan um, through boxing because he started yeah. to dip his toe. Well, I say dip, more like kick his toe in the water of, <laughs> of, of boxing. Um, and Tom was like, have you thought about doing him? And I thought, I've never really considered it. Mm. Now, not, not quite famous enough, really, if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh, that will hurt him. That will hurt <laughs> him more I than anything. Mean it. I'm, be, I'm being facetious, of course. <laughs> what, uh, what about other talk sport presenters, Adam? I, I mean, is Laura Wood safe, for example? I think so. You've, you've got a nice, calm, relaxed. She has. You should do like uh, meditation videos. Yeah. Oh, do you think? Yeah, definitely. I've been off. I've been off with other videos. Let you should hear them. God. <laughs> Get those I'll bring on you up. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Steady, I, 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 sorry, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what time it was. Sorry, it didn't take that. It didn't take that long to get to get Simon. Really? Relative, yeah. Because, because the amount of of like catchphrases he has. It's good. It's like it? manner from heaven if it's, you're an impressionist. It's very good. When did you start doing impressions? Um, about eight years ago. Your okay. first one? What was your first one? My first one? Oh, well, well, way back in the day when I was a kid, like, you know, Tinny Blair was for, you know, everything when I grew up. So, like, I watched a lot of like Bre Bremner, Bird and Fortune, like those kind of people. My first one that actually did properly was probably David Attenborough, I think. Mm. And I think there's potential in the future to do David Attenborough narrating Simon Jordan. <laughs> Normally, presenters try and relax their guests. <laughs> Simon has a different approach. I think maybe that might be... Oh, oh I'm loving that. that my, so good. I love a bro. Please, can we go and actually record that? Because that is so good. That could be a little promo for their show. Um, apparently, you do quite a good Carl Froch as well. Yeah, you know, uh, Carl. Love Carl. Uh, <laughs> if you watched the video of him recently interviewing Rob McCracken... I haven't seen yes. it. Yes. It's so good. It's an hour... 
and it's basically Frotch going, yeah, so Rob, you are uh, obviously trained myself. You were, uh, you know, you fought for the title yourself, WC <laughs> middleweight champ, and uh, you know you were uh, you're in charge of like the 2012 uh, GB Olympics, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you trained Joshua as well. So uh, we'll spend the next hour talking about me and uh, my career and how you helped me, you know, become you know the champion that I am. Like, but the next hour it's just all about I love Carl don't change don't see change. You, you, mentioned, you mentioned Rory Bremen and guys like that right yeah now how do you actually just sit and practice right the voice but obviously looking at you just now Simon Jordan the mouth was the one thing that got me straight away yeah so I'm stating the obvious you'll obviously have to look in a mirror and yeah. practice yeah, there is a there is a bit of that. Well, there's a lot of that actually, because yeah. I, I, my phone's just full of like MP3s and MP4s <laughs> of like various people, like some of them like Boris Johnson, like having to watch Boris Johnson for hours to try and oh, get the impression yeah. down. It's a little oh, bit yeah. of punishment. To me. It's not just the voice, is it? It's, oh, it's, you know, the mannerisms, of course. The flappy arms for Boris. You know, people listening probably didn't see it. <laughs> uh, it was all encompassing. <laughs> uh, it's, if there's an energy. Uh, yeah, the I, sound I, I, <laughs> <laughs> the Simon yeah, Jordan know. wig works very well for it that impression. Does, it does. But I you, can, around for a decent one. you can do AJ as well, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Root salt, root salt, root salt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I love you, how you, you just go. single. Those are. <laughs> 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 Yeah. You lot fishy out there, brilliant. Yeah. Just Thank answer the question. They didn't. They didn't. <laughs> yes, AJ. <laughs> awful, awful. Can you do any one of these boys? Go on. They're hard, no, actually, aren't they? I can't. I can't. I'm yeah. sorry. No, don't yeah. worry. I could try out. It might take me a little while to get you well. Yeah. 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 Glass, glass accent's hard. Yeah, it's <laughs> accent's so if you found now, because obviously um, the Simon Jordan one was very good and, and really did the rounds, how, in terms of where you are in your career and, and how your popularity is growing and things like that, where do you want to get to? What do you want to do? Well, I mean, like I said, I grew up watching the likes of Bremner and Alistair McGowan and mm, yeah. I'd love to have a brilliant like that oh mm. my gosh Do, yeah. is it is it easier these days because you've got back in the day if you were like a, a stand-up comedian or impressionist or something you go and do the rounds you do the routes and it'd be quite difficult but with social media is it easier to get yourself out it's easier to get yourself out there and it's easier to learn an impression you've got endless amounts of footage and video which mm. people like I imagine when Bremner first started doing, he probably didn't have any of that yeah. so not only is it easier to promote yourself definitely mm. you don't have to do the mm. one man and his dog yeah. comedy shows which is I've, I lived with a couple of silent comedians um, and when I was house sharing and they it was a hard hard what's, life. what's harder Adam the, uh, the, the voice or getting a script to go with the voice because I, I would imagine they've got to go hand in hand you've got, yeah. to, have, you've got to have something to totally, say that, totally yeah. I think Again, it really depends. I really enjoy writing. Little, I write little raps and stuff. I wrote a David yeah. Amber rap and I put that. Oh, in please it. do it. Um, what does it start off with? So it's like um, <laughs> I rap and rap for the animals. No do littling. Politicians pay attention to me like I'm riddling. <laughs> 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 Yeah. So I think I enjoy writing the scripts. Yes. I, I find learning the impressions <laughs> harder. There you go. Oh, mm. how brilliant. Adam, thank you very much. That thank was you. so fun. Best of luck. Best of luck. Very good. You are so on. talented. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> thank you. Please, very can kind. you just do me a favour? Can you wait by the lifts for yeah. Simon Jordan to arrive? <laughs> oh he gosh. arrives at about five to ten no, and just like, greet him with himself. It'll be like Highlander. There can only be one. He'll try and like... He'll try and attack you. He'll try and attack me. Oh, brilliant. Or just walk into the studio with Jim and just see how long it takes him to realise it's not actually I'll stand at the door and do like a mirror kind of movement. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Really, as he comes I mean, in, appreciate Oh that. my God, we cannot let you out the building until you do that. Uh, thank you so much. You are you. wonderful. It's so great to meet oh, you. Good you. luck with everything you do. Good luck, me. Um, we love. Adam Thanks. Diggle as well. So I guess if they put that name into search engines, into social media, yeah. they will find you easily. There's not many of me. Excellent. Adam, <laughs> thank you so much. I think you find there is. Oh, yeah, apparently, yeah. <laughs> Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.